Hello everyone, you are welcome. Today we have a new beautiful exponential math problem which is 2 raised to power b plus 4 raised to power b plus 8 raised to power b is equal to 39. So here we will try to find out the value of b, the real solutions of this problem. How can we solve this beautiful math problem? So let's start our solution. So first of all here we can write this left hand side is this is 2 raised to power b plus 4 can be written as 2 square 4 raised to the power b plus 8 can be written as 2 q raised to the power b is equal to 39. Now here in these two terms we will use an exponential identity and we will interchange the position of these two powers. So this left hand side will become this is 2 raised to power b plus this will become 2 raised to power b whole square plus this will become 2 raised to power b whole q is equal to 39. Now there is the base is same 2 raised to power b so here we will make our position. So let us suppose 2 raised to power b is equal to another variable let us suppose this is x so this left hand side will become this will become x plus x square plus x cube is equal to 39 here we will take this 39 to the left hand side and let's arrange these variables according to their power so this will become x cube plus x square plus x and this will become negative 39 but negative 39 can be written as this is same as negative 27 negative 9 and negative 3 is equal to 0 and combining these three numbers it gives him negative 39 so next we can write this equation as this is x cube plus x square plus x minus 27 can be written as 3 cube 9 can be written as 3 square minus 3 is equal to 0. Now let us combine the cubic terms, squaring terms and linear terms. So this left hand side will become, this will become x cube minus 3 cube plus x square minus 3 square plus x minus 3 is equal to 0. Here in these two terms we will use two different algebraic identities. So here in the first term we will use this one algebraic identity a cube minus b cube which is equal to a minus b times a square plus a times b plus b square. And here in the second term we will use this one identity a square minus b square which is same as a minus b times a plus b so using these two identities here this left hand side these two terms will become this will become x minus 3 times x square plus 3x plus 3 square is simply 9 plus now this will become x minus 3 times x plus 3 plus and this is simply x minus 3 is equal to 0. Now look to the left hand side here in all the term this x minus 3 is common. So let us take out common this. This will become taking x minus 3 common. So this will become x square plus 3x plus 9 plus x plus 3 plus here only 1 is left is equal to 0. And let's further simplify this one expression. So this become this is simply x minus 3 times x square plus 3x plus x is simply 4x plus 9 plus 1 is 10, 10 plus 3 is 13. This is 13 is equal to 0. We have the product of these two expression is 0. So here either this expression will be 0 or this one will be 0. So from here we can write x minus 3 is equal to 0 or x square plus 4x plus 13 is equal to 0. 
And first we will try to solve this one equation x is equal to negative 3 so from here we will get x is equal to positive 3 but here our target is now to find out the value of x here our target is to find out the value of b so here we will recall up supposition x is equal to 2 raised to power b so this x will become x is 2 raised to power b is equal to 3 here we will take comma log on both sides this will become log of 2 raised to power b is equal to log of 3 here on the left hand side we will use log property and we will move this power to the front so this will become b times log of 2 is equal to log of 3 Dividing both sides by log of 2, it gives him b is equal to log of 3 divided by log of 2. Now here on the right hand side, we will use change of s logarithm identity, which is log of a divided by log of b, which can be written as log of a with base b. So this right hand side will become b is equal to this will become log of 3 with base 2. Finally, b is equal to log of 3 with base 2 is the real value of b. Now we will try to solve this one quadratic equation. Now before to solve this quadratic equation, first we will try to find out that as the roots of this quadratic equation are real or not. So for that here we will use the discriminant formula which is b square minus 4ac. So substitute the from here. The value of b is 4, a is 1, and c is 13. So this will become, this will become 4 square minus 4 times a is 1 and c is 13. Oh, 4 square is simply 16 minus 13 times 4 is 52. Subtracting these two numbers, it gives him about negative 36, which is less than 0. So, as the discriminant value is less than 0, negative, so it means that the roots of this quadratic equation are complex. So, therefore, we will reject this one solution. So we have only this value of b, b is equal to log of 3 with base 2. And we will try to verify this one with of b that as b is equal to log of 3 with base 2 is the exact and correct value of b in this beautiful explanation math problem or not. So we will verify this value here. And to verify this value here, we will derive our problem again. Now our problem is 2 raised to power b plus 4 raised to power b plus a raised to power b is equal to 39. So let's replace b with its value. So this left hand side will become this is 2 raised to power the value of b is log of 3 with base 2 plus 4 raised to power log of 3 with base 2 plus a raised to power log of 3 with base 2 is equal to 39. So let's simplify this left hand side. So it will become 2 raised to power log of 3 with base 2 plus here we can add this power as 2 square raised to the power log of 3 with base 2 plus 8 can be written as 2 cube raised to the power log of 3 with base 2 is equal to 39. Here in these two terms we will use an exponential identity. And we multiply the powers with each other. So this left hand side will become 2 raised to power log of 3 with base 2 plus this will become 2 raised to power 2 times 2 times log of 3 with base 2 plus this will become 2 raised to power 3 times log of 3 with base 2 is equal to 39. Here in these two terms, we will use a logarithm property and we move this power to the power of this number. So these two terms will become this is 2 raised to power log of 3 with base 2 plus this will become 2 raised to power. Now this will become 3 raised to power 2. Now 3 raised to power 2 is 9. So this will become log of 9 with base 2 plus 2 raised to power. This will become log of 3 cube is simply 27 with base 2 is equal to 39. Now here in the left hand side, in other terms, we will use another logarithm property. So here in this side, we will use this one logarithm property. We can write a raised to power log of b with base a is equal to b. So using this logarithm property here, this left hand side will become, this will become 3, this will become 9, and this will become 27. So this will become 3 plus 9 plus 
27 is equal to 39 adding these three numbers it gives him above 39 is equal to 39 and since both sides are equal so it means that b is equal to log of 3 with base 2 is the exact and correct value of b and is the solution of this beautiful explanation math problem in last don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel for such a more interesting and step by step math solutions thanks for watching